right, so every time there's a new software update available for iPhone, I always get the same question. Should I update to the next release? In this case, iOS 18.4, this software will be available here in just a couple of days. But I've been testing the final release on my iPhone 16 Pro Max for several days now as Apple released the release candidate for developers. And I've been testing it on my iPhone 16 Pro Max, the iPhone 13 Pro, and also the iPhone 11. So new and older devices. And I wanted to share my feedback with you guys in regards to this next next major update coming to the iPhone because if you're thinking about updating obviously you're concerned about the battery the performance the bugs and everything like that so I wanted to give you guys my thoughts on the software so far right before the release that way you can decide if you want to update to 18.4 let's talk about the bugs first then we'll talk about the performance and the battery overall on all of these devices so in terms of bugs there's been several bugs that continue to be reported within the latest iOS 18.3.2 one of which is Wi-Fi issues and I've encountered a lot lot of Wi-Fi issues on previous versions of iOS 18, but I'm happy to report that on the latest iOS 18.4 RC2, finally it appears that Apple has addressed the Wi-Fi issues, at least for me. So I would leave the studio and come back and my Wi-Fi wouldn't automatically reconnect. I would have to go into settings, head on over into Wi-Fi, select the network, and that way I can connect to the Wi-Fi here in the studio every time I came back into the studio. But obviously my iPhone should automatically reconnect and it's now finally doing so with the latest iOS 18.4 RC. And it appears that some users also reported that these Wi-Fi issues have been resolved for them as well. So thank you guys for the feedback on that. Now when it comes to camera you guys already know that there's been several reports of camera freezing and lagging I do have to point out that initially when I updated to iOS 18.4 RC2 my camera had a small lag when switching between the lenses so when I click here it would freeze and it only happened the first day after switching after that once the software was done indexing everything back into place I haven't had any camera freezing issues so hopefully this won't happen again fingers cross I'll keep you guys posted but it appears that camera issues have been resolved within the latest update and now one thing that most users continue to report in regards to iCloud emails is the push notifications for iCloud emails not working properly now on the latest RC2 I think Apple is still working on fixing this one so if you use Apple iCloud your push notifications may not be available to you so that means that after updating to 18.4 you may want to manually go into your iCloud cloud email and refresh manually in order to get those emails into your inbox now let's talk about some of the other issues that you guys always ask about and that is battery and performance now I want to talk about performance first because I know a lot of you guys are worried about any lag or issues number one control center is a lot smoother when you go to customize your control center it just feels a lot nicer this time around with iOS 18.4 Things are looking pretty good in terms of customizing, animations, everything of that nature. Now let's go into the benchmarks here because I did run benchmarks on this iPhone 16 Pro Max and across the board, I've seen improvements in terms of CPU performance. So if we go into the history here, you see here, this is RC1, iOS 18.4 RC1. You see there the single core score and the multi-core score. And if we go to RC2, the final release, we see an improvement on both single core and multi core performance. So we see an improvement on both from RC1 to RC2 in terms of CPU performance. And that really shows the software just really feels snappy, as I mentioned. Things feel really, really smooth, even. On older devices, I also saw a minor multi-core performance increase here as well. So take a look at that. iOS 18.3.1 on this iPhone 11. And the latest, you see a minor increase in performance, especially on the multi-core side of things. So in terms of performance, overall, the smoothness of the OS feels a lot better on iOS 18.4 RC2 across the board from old devices to new devices as well. Now, the last thing I want to talk about is battery life. And obviously, battery life is always going to depend on how you use your device. But overall, with iOS 18.4, I have to say that battery life on my testing has been great on the newer devices as well as the older devices, including the iPhone 13 models. Battery life has been excellent on iOS 18.4 and even on the older devices, 10R and iPhone 11, battery life has been pretty solid as well. So I think Apple has nailed battery life with iOS 18.4. Obviously, there's always going to be battery issues on some devices and some users may encounter battery drain issues. But overall, based on my testing here over the past several days, 
I would say battery life is phenomenal in iOS 18.4, as a matter of fact. So if battery is one of those concerns, and I know most users sometimes really hold off on updating because of battery life, I would say battery life is pretty solid on this software update iOS 18.4. Now the main question obviously is should I update and when will this update be available? Well Apple mentions that this update should be available for iPhone users in April. I believe early April could be a release date as early as the first day of April on Tuesday coming up this week. Stay tuned here to the channel in regards to updating. That is the information that I wanted to share with you guys. You make the decision. I think the software is pretty solid right now and if you're looking to update this is one of those major updates Updates that I think most users are going to want to update and I'll have an entire video breaking down everything that's new within iOS 18.4 once it is available to everyone to download here in just a couple of days thank you for watching and I'll see you guys on the next one peace